What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Eastside RC and TMR Performance. You guys notice I haven't made a video all week because the flu got me, man. I'm still a little bit sick, but I'm feeling a little bit better enough where I want to make a little video for you guys today. So we're going to take a look at some gas and some oil. That is a good option for you guys that are new this is not a recommendation of what to use or what you should use but i'm going to share with y'all what i use and what i like and people have said that i'm going to blow my stuff up on 50 to 1 i'm going to show you guys why that is a complete joke all right so let's get right at it all right y'all here we go Got some options here for you. Mainly, I just want to show you some differences between conventional oils and synthetic oils. I have some really old school stuff here, and I have new school that's not really that new school, but it is new school compared to these here. Okay, and here's a fuel option that you guys can use. You guys know what I like. I'll show you here in this little clip a picture of what I like to use. All right, you see there the, the VP fuels I like, VPC12. This here, if you can't get VPC12 around where you live or C10, whatever you like to run, um, I prefer the C12 because it's leaded and the extra lead is added lubrication for two strokes. But if you can't get that, this is a great option right here. They make this in a 50 to 1 mix, or you can buy it like this and mix it however you want yourself in, in the four cycle fuel. This is just straight up VP racing fuel, 94 octane. And, you, and look, it was even made by doctors and scientists. <laughs> VP mad scientist son. <laughs> so this is a this is a very good fuel right here. I love it. It is um hands down the best. Okay. VP is hands down the best fuel on the market for your small engines. And you can run this right in your small engines if you want, and then just put them right back up in here in the house, and they won't stink. You won't get any stink out of out of it okay and you won't smell like a two-stroke when you're out in the yard wrapping leaves or whatever you know and you in your lawn equipment so this is great stuff guys it really is as you can see here i mixed it up two-stroke 50 to one not for my rcs i use this for my lawn equipment it is like 20 bucks a gallon you know hey if you run nitro that's 50 and 60 bucks a gallon. So it's really not that bad. Now let's take a look at some oils here. We're going to start with this oldie right here that my dad gave me. We were messing around in the basement looking at motorcycles and stuff and said, what do you know, man? Look at this. Pops pulled this out and was like, I forgot I had this. So I figured I'd make a video on this stuff on oils. Look at this, guys. This is from 1960, y'all. From the 60s, okay? Brap Dad was brapping two strokes back in the 60s, son. And even earlier, okay? Check this out. Two cycle SAE 50 motorcycle oil. Yeah. Back in the 60s, y'all. This is what they had. You didn't have a two-stroke specified oil. You had a straight 50 weight engine oil. It's basically what this is. They sell, look, the full bore family. They had two-cycle oil, gearbox oil, racing four-cycle oil. And their four-cycle oil was probably like 10W50 or something. You know? Look. Look at the mixtures, guys. Check it out. Back in the day, old school mix for brand new two-cycle street motorcycles, mix 24 to 1. 
For all other two cycle motorcycles, mix 32 to 1. They're not, they're not telling you to mix it any leaner. All right? So if you were to buy this oil back in the day, what should you do? Should you mix this at 50 to 1? No, you shouldn't. You should mix this at 24 to 1 and, and, and no leaner than 32 to 1. All right? For these old school oils like this and this right here, you you go by the manufacturer's rating, okay? Because back in the day, the rule of thumb for these types of oils is the higher the RPMs is making in your two-stroke, the more oil is needed, all right? Back in the day, now we got this, and that is not so, all right? Not so anymore with good oils like this. Okay, I don't want this to seem like I'm pushing Amsoil Saber, but Amsoil Saber is some awesome stuff. It's my favorite. I have switched from Dominator to Saber for many reasons. Now, if you see here, 24 to 1, 32 to 1. Now we're going to go over here to this, take a look at this. Actually, we'll look at this in a minute. This come out. This has been out forever. I can't remember when this come out exactly. Caster 927, all right? The number one original. Wake up and smell the 927. Yep, ain't no doubt about it. It smells good, even in pump gas. It'll make pump gas smell like, smell good. Okay, now, if you look at the, the ratings on this right here, we're going to show y'all, what does it say? Ratios, 20 to 1 to 60 to 1, all right? This is good for 60 to 1, but you want to look at your CCs and your RPMs because it matters, right? It matters with this. Because it's an old school conventional oil. There is nothing synthetic about this oil. But I love it. You know why? Because it's the very best break-in oil that I have been using so far. Because it allows the scuffing to happen very early on. So that you get a super fast ring seat. That is the key to making all the power you want. In a two-stroke, you want to seat that ring as fast as possible. So this right here will do it. Three tanks, then I switch to this. Now we got a synthetic blend, two-cycle lubricant, all right? Golden Spectro, a synthetic petroleum blend. It's a 50-50 type, half and half. Now I rubbed the daggone thing off there because we spilled oil on it and, and I accidentally rubbed off the ratio. But if you look at this, you can do the math right here. Mix one bottle, 12 fluid ounces with five gallons of gasoline, which equals 53 to one, all right? That's what they're recommending that you use this at, 53 to one. And, in, and your engine will be completely safe all right, no matter the two-stroke, 53 to 1. I've used this. My dad and I used, this, used to use this for years. We have never blown a single engine up with this oil right here. All right. Then we got the king, the king of synthetics right here. The king of oils, Amsoil Saber. The king of two-cycle oil. All right. Now, I'm a little parched. Second. All right. This oil right here, look at it. Will you look at it? One oil covers all mix ratios, tested and proven at 100 to 1. Actually, tested and proven at 300 to 1. <laughs> but. Fully safe at a at one hundred to one. Now, if you run any of these oils, well, you won't be running this one, of course. But if you run these oils, how should you mix them? You should mix them per manufacturer's recommended specifications 
and you cannot go wrong. Does Caster 927 say you're going to blow your stuff up on 60 to 1 if you use this at 60 to 1? No. Are you going to blow your stuff up at 53 to 1 if you run this stuff? No. Are you going to cause premature engine wear if you use a lawnmower oil in your in your uh, RCs at 50 to 1 or 100 to 1? No. Lawnmower oil being a joke, of course, because lawnmowers aren't two strokes. Okay, so... Now, I want to show you guys something on the back here. Look, low smoke. So if you're seeing smoke, you're getting mega lubrication. Now, look at this right here, y'all. 50 to 1. Conventional. This is the oil I use at 50 to 1. I'm not even using the Sabre ratios, which is 80 to 1. And a hundred to one. Now people say, "Oh, this is only good for uh, weed whackers and chainsaws and things of that nature." Oh, it is, huh? Well, guess what? This bottle it used to say right on the back of it, "Good for lawn uh, lawn equipment as well as snowmobiles, motorcycles, street bikes, anything with a two-stroke engine in it." Why did they take that off, guys? Why did they take that off, and why did they push Dominator? Because you got to use more oil with Dominator. Dominator is only good for 60 to 1. This is good for 100 to 1. It's a no-brainer. If you're using this at 50 to 1, you're overkilling. There is no way in this world that you are going to blow up or cause premature wear in your engines using this oil right here at 50 to 1. Now let me debunk the lawn equipment only right here for you guys. Because y'all know how I like to deliver proof with truth. Use in all handheld two-stroke equipment or, or other applications that specify what? These right here. That's what's specified in your motorcycles, right? And your snowmobiles. Okay? It's got to have these right here. This oil. Other applications. All right? All they did was take off all the motorcycles, the snowmobiles, and this, that, and the other, and anything else with a two-stroke, and replaced it with other applications. It's about marketing, guys. It's about marketing. This is the best oil that I've ever used in my life. I, I, I just can't believe how slick it is, how good it is. As soon as you pour it in there, look how it coats on the plastic bottle. I mean, this stuff is amazing. It's absolutely amazing. I used to run just the Dominator, and then Alan got me running that, and that's it. I'm done. After I took engines apart and checked it out, I couldn't believe it, and I tried to blow up this engine right here. I did a test with that Amsoil Saber, run that engine right there at 395 degrees, and it would not blow up. It would not blow up. It had a bunch of drag, bear, clutch bearing went bad, and the bearings went bad in these ADA axle carriers that I had in the outdrives there while I was out running. And I had shock problems and other issues that day, and it just aggravated me. So I said, you know what, I'm just going to blow this engine up. And I tried to blow it up, me and dad, and it wouldn't blow up. So it just melted the seals right out of the crankcase and burnt the bearings up. <laughs> so Alan sent me some brand new Jap Nachi bearings and some Zenoa seals, and I rebuilt the engine. And hey, you know, with the same piston and ring and cylinder, <laughs> and it's nastier than ever. We're going to put the big dumper, the, the, the big gun pipe on it from Dan. And uh, we're going we're gonna to try that out here real soon, y'all. Real soon. All right. So that's my info I want to share with you guys today. Sorry it was nothing but a bunch of talking. It is what it is. Y'all have a blessed one. I'll see you on the next one, all right? Eastside RC and TMR Performance is out.